Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ninja Gardening. I'm your host, the Plant Assassin. And today I want to show you a wild potato. This is James's potato. And the scientific name is Solanum jamesii. You may remember that when I was speaking about the Ahan Huiri perennial potato that I mentioned that there were native North American potatoes. So this is one of the specimens right here. I grew this plant from seed so it is uh, I think it's about five months old now and you can see I got it in a number one nursery pot and of interest it is getting ready to flower. So I suspect we'll have some yellow flowers on it soon. And I'll do an update video on it then. But this uh, potato was utilized by the Native Americans. And <clears throat> it, some people think it was actually in the process of being uh, cultivated when uh, when the uh, Europeans came into North America and the uh, domestication process for this species was interrupted. So there are several reasons why people think that. Um, one of the main ones is, is that potatoes can either be produced by uh, spreading the tubers around and you'll get a genetically identical clone or these flowers will produce little fruits that look a bit like cherry a small cherry tomato and uh, from those fruits you'll get really small seeds that incidentally also look like a cherry tomato seed <clears throat> but when a plant is propagated through the tubers like the potato often is you will have genetically identical plants distributed over a wild area oh, a large area and this is the case with uh, this particular species there are genetically similar plants that are distributed over wide areas areas of its natural range and footnote there, its natural range may actually have uh, been extended by the Native Americans um, <clears throat> for the sake of convenience. Oftentimes, a uh, botanist will just pick, you know, 1492 as the date for, um, you know, is it native? Was it here before Europeans? Yes or no? Um, it's just a convenient cutoff date. So, because obviously the Native Americans um, spread around plants and uh, imported certain plants from uh, different areas. So, there's even examples of uh, certain types of wild sweet potatoes that were brought from the tropics up to Florida. So, so we know it happened, but it's a convenient cutoff date. So. Now these, this plant here, you can see that looks a little droopy. We've had about two weeks of 100 degree weather. And so even though it's extremely drought tolerant, this uh, pot does not hold much moisture and it heats up the roots. So if I don't water it every day, it uh, starts looking stressed. And you can see we got some burnt ends here and starting to turn yellow. So, and I lost some uh, stems over here, but it's growing back new stems. So, I think it's going to be okay. Now, the, <coughs> the tubers on these potatoes are not as large as the tubers that you'd get at the supermarket. Um, the ones I've seen have been at best about a quarter inch across 
Um, some of them will get up to an inch to two inches depending on what reports that you've read but I haven't seen anything like that yet so we will have to check in a, another video at the end of the season to see what type of uh, tubers we get from this plant so it'll be interesting um, my plans are to take this uh, plant and let it spread out in a raised uh, garden bed next year so I'm just uh, getting genetic material right now so but here it is the James's wild potato Solanum Jamesii native to North America. I'm the Plant Assassin. If you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.